back again and we're going to do the third part of the keyword research phase and this part's all about backlinks how many backlinks do we need to rank on the first page of Google the our whole goal is to get a good position on Google because then we get the traffic the traffic causes us to make sales which gives us the big bucks or if it's AdSense it causes us to get clicks whatever we want to get on the first page so we need to figure out how many backlinks the websites in the first page get because if we know what kind of backlinks and how many backlinks they get then we know what it would take for us to beat them and we kinda want to you almost have to look at time and backlinks as an investment how much investment am I willing to put into something in order for it to pay off so is this a worthwhile keyword to go for well let's find out this is a page on the first page of Google for medicine ball exercises so we'll copy that URL and I used to do Yahoo Site Explorer but since that's closed down I now go to a program called the um, man I'm just kinda of blanking out here what's it called SEO Spyglass I use SEO Spyglass for my backlink analysis and another thing that you should love about SEO Spyglass is it's free, um, at least part of the program. I think up to it analyzes up to a thousand backlinks for free, and if you want more than that, then you need to pay a certain amount of money. But f for the kind of keywords I go for, anyways, if you're going for very like low, low, low to mid competition. If there's over a thousand backlinks, then I almost consider it too competitive. So the free version is perfect uh, for just a nice brief overview. And yeah, it doesn't cost anything. So you go search for SEO Spyglass in Google, and you will be able to download it free. And then you'll end up getting something that looks like this. And when you get this, I new project, I go to enter a competitor's URL to analyze. And this is where I copy the URL of the website that we want to check out. And I put it in. Press next. It tells me how many backlinks. So we're at 280, 400 wow so quite a few backlinks to this page we're already at 11.50 and men's health uh, they're gonna be pretty would be pretty hard darn darn hard to outrank so I'm starting to not really like this keyword. So I guess all those people that talk about, you know, they talk about how uh, the amount of competing pages, because I think Medicine Ball Exercises only had 25,000 competing pages. It definitely shows that it's not just about the pages that are competing, the number of pages that are competing. It's way more about the top 10. And um, this one's looking like the top 10 is surprisingly tough. So I would probably... I would definitely decide not to go for the keyword medicine ball exercises. So, over 1300 backlinks. 1322, and it's just asking whether you want to analyze these backlinks and see how powerful they are, but that's too many for me to really care. I think I'm just going to X that one off. And resistance band exercises. So let's pick a let's see how well this is exercised. Everyone seems to have it in the title tag resistant band exercises. Uh, this one doesn't. So let's take a look and see the web page. Well, it's a pretty crappy web page really to be honest. not really too much going for not much content not much user interaction I can't see people staying on this page for very long so uh, this might be a good one resistance band exercises 
So let's go back to SEO Spyglass. Let's put in the URL. And this time let's take a look. 31. I like the looks of this. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully it stays that way and doesn't spike up at the end. We might have ourselves a, a keyword, ladies and gentlemen. Even this, like, look at this content. This doesn't look like anything special. I mean, you just kind of have to ask yourself, could I do better than this? And I think probably most of you that are watching right now could do a lot better than the pages that are on the first page of Google for resistance band exercises. So now the SEO Spyglass will analyze the backlink quality of the 31 backlinks. And it'll sort of look at like the domain age of the backlinks or the page rank. Or whether it has a, the backlink has a DMOS listing or Yahoo directory listing. So it'll just take a... F it says estimated time about 45 seconds. So that'll take a little bit of time and then we'll be able to see... what SEO Spyglass has to say from that. and If I like the backlinks, then I would definitely... If I don't think the backlinks are too powerful or anything like that, there isn't anything um, too crazy, then I would definitely choose to go for this keyword. And it's got a low, low number of competing pages too, so it's pretty perfect. Alright, so as you can see, this links back column tells you whether the backlink still exists or not. And basically, if Google found it, then they already get credit. But if it continues to exist, then in the future, the, the search engine rankings would reflect this. So the fact that a lot of these aren't still links is a very, very good thing. You want less yeses, that's for sure. And the anchor text is very, very cool because it will tell you the um, what keyword they're going for. And they are going for resistant band workouts, so they're not even going for the keyword resistance band exercises. Uh, which means that you should be able to get resistance band exercises fairly easily. And page rank, this is a big deal. None of the backlinks have any page rank. So I just want to emphasize to everybody that's watching and following along right now, this is a golden, what you'd refer to as a golden nugget keyword. This is definitely a keyword that you could make money off of. And it wouldn't be that hard for you to rank on the first page of Google for it. So this is definitely one that I'd go for if I'm in the fitness. If I was in the fitness niche, I'm not, so I probably won't. But uh, anybody out there who's watching this that's in the fitness niche, feel free. Go ahead and snap this bad boy up. It gets almost ten thousand searches per month. And 71 cent cost per click, which is not amazing, but still decent, especially for the amount of searches. And it's n not that competitive, 35,000 competing pages. So uh, that's just one example of a very good keyword that we found by going through this process. So I, I hope that you learn something from the three-part little tutorial I have on keyword research and that you can find more keywords like this because there are